section 20 foot tower that we're going to be putting up about 40 foot we got to redo a rotor on it the rotor we don't know how old it is so we're going to redo that in the meantime we got our friend af5 af rocky he's going to be cooking the meat but we're going to have something to eat afterwards most of getting in my eyes back it is but look at this <laughs> this is how you do ham radio you right here plan your day you got to cook some ham <laughs> while you're doing ham radio absolutely Copy. all right so what we're going to do is we're going to get the tower we're going to start getting things organized Days burning. Before you put up any tower, any tower, you you always want to make sure that your your uh, rotor is uh, working and working correctly. This rotor, I don't know the history of it, and before I put this up, we're going to take take the top of it off. We're going to check the race. We're going to check the gears. We're going to make sure it's operational before we get it up in the air. Because once it's up in the air, it can be a little bit more difficult to work on, and also the safety factor. It's much easier to work down low right here on ground level than working 40 feet in the air. So we're gonna take this off and then we'll show you what it looks like and hopefully uh, we won't have to do too much but maybe just a little bit of lubrication and then we'll put it all back together and we'll put it up in the air. What have you done? Oh man, it's going everywhere. Maybe you should have like rethought that. Really, Derek? <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Hang on, let me just get the ones that are down here. This turned into the other video. Oh, man. Yeah, this is uh You know what? We History sh has a tendency of repeating itself if you're not careful. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be bearing spillage. So. Yeah, but I just don't understand. See, see, look at how dry... Oh, oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lordy. Hang on, hang on a second. We need a get, bowl. Get a bowl. Hang on, we'll get a bowl. Yeah, yeah. But it's a good thing he did this because this is really dry. There's a lot of rust in here. And uh, so you want to always take apart rotors that you don't know about. What kind of rotor is this, Matt? It's a Yezu 800. Yezu 800. And look at how dry it is. Well, right. Maybe we should call it a, a dry Yezu. Absolutely. And we're also going to put the controller on and make sure this thing is fully functional before we ever put it in the air because we don't want any problems after the fact. Oh no. Look at that. Look at the water. Look at the rust where the water. Yeah, I've seen worse. No, of course, but, um, you know, I mean, imagine putting this, imagine with them bowls. Like now, that. I noticed this is all metal, which is all really metal. a good thing. So, obviously, a high quality rotor. Yeah, well, yes, but it could easily have been a damaged rotor. If you were to put this rotor up in the air, uh, I would say within a year or so of heavy use, this would be all really a lot of excess play and you know and you don't want that because remember when you're when you're making a contact and stuff like that, you don't want your rotor or your your equipment moving around too much. Looks pretty good. Alright. We'll get this thing cleaned up. I hit it with a little bit of steel wool just on the race there. Make sure to get all those impediments out that are all, you know, yeah. it's all clean now. Check our connections, make sure everything's good and dry. And uh, the cows are happy, so. There's always noise here. 
Oh yeah, There's plenty of cows, and we will get this thing reassembled, and we'll get this thing in the hey, air quickly. 17 meters. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, hex beam ought to be pretty interesting on this tower. Yeah, six through six through 20. So you got six, 10, 12, 15, 17, and 20. So that's gonna be great. Considering I only have an off center fed dock hole, which really does 80, 40, 20 really well. I'm trying so to steal the show. Be great. It's gonna be all, all the other bands I need. Especially six meters, that's gonna be nice. Okay, Matt's got this amazing hex beam. Yeah, this is our hex beam. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> This is a multi band it's six meters. Yeah. 10, 12, 15, <laughs> 17, 20. Yeah. Uh, you got uh, future bands there. Okay, we got a little shade here, but uh, whoever thought turn an umbrella upside down and make an antenna, that's amazing. But that's what we're doing is we're trying to get this installed for this hex beam. And we should have this thing going here shortly. Matt's going to do a bearing job. Bearing job. Yeah, and one thing about it, when you go to put the bearings in this rotor, if you put a layer of grease, the bearings will stick, and that's the best way to do this, which he's fixing to take care of that right Don't now. Don't forget about your PPE. Personal protection. Okay, it's all lubricated up and it's ready to go back on. We've figured out the uh, wiring diagram and got that all connected, all that ready to go. So now we're gonna put this back onto the tower, tighten everything down, double check everything. And uh, this is only temporary, it's just until we can, uh, you know, until we can get the concrete and it's, it's raining and everything's so wet. Yeah, let's go this side. That's actually better for the tower. So if you could just move that, uh, that bob wire a little bit out of the way, we're good. All right, here we go. All right, when doing anything like this, you need to observe all sorts of laws, the, the laws of your state, and make sure you wear all the proper safety equipment, have the proper safety harnesses and lanyards and stuff like that. Be safe. I need a uh, half inch and or uh, 13 mil.
All right, let's check this hex beam out on the analyzer and see what happens. We'll start with six meters. In the old ARRL safety yeah. chart. So we're looking at 50 to 54. At 54, we're at 2.0. Well, we got to start here at 50. 1.6. 50. Um, Point one, which is right there. Fifty point one, that's right there. That's two. So that's at two. And then we're gonna it drops. Look at that. Thing. Yeah, that's look great. look at that. Okay, that's really good. It's a one and it's point staying two. there. One point three, one point three. And so in the middle of the band, it's basically, it's basically. A, yeah. 1.3 so that's great and then there's the top of the band right there that's that's perfect you couldn't get any better on the 54 so that's beautiful yeah it's not a super wide banded antenna obviously as far as that that one band is concerned but still that's great okay Two so is tunable now we'll go 10 meters okay and uh, so let's we'll, we'll just worry about the talk band okay so we want we're still gonna we're looking for uh, 28300 where are we 28300 all right we're at 1.7 okay 1.7 28300 and now we're starting to go up in the band and the SWR is coming down and that's what you want and uh, we're going to keep going. 29,700. 1, 1.3. Look at that. Beautiful, man. 29,700. Yeah, and right at 700 is very tunable. Look at that. Yeah, it's very tunable. Somebody knew what they were doing. Very nice antenna. Okay, so now let's go to uh, 12 meters. Okay. 24, 8, 9. Uh, we might be able to hit in this one here. There we go. 24. Twenty-four eight ninety. Yep. Okay, so 1.4. Beautiful. And go all the way to 24 9 90. Perfect. 1.3. Yeah, we're great. Alright, next band, 15. Okay, 15 meters. Now we're looking at 21200. We're gonna, just going to talk worry about the talk band. So 21200. So here we are at 1.5. And then we're going to go all the way up to 21450. Look at that. Huh. 1.4. Beautiful. 1.4. So again, <coughs> another resonant, really yeah, good resonant band. 15 is a tough band. Okay, so now we're looking at 17. Yeah, it'd be 16068. This is CW, but go ahead and look at it. You want to go uh, all the way? Yeah, oh, no, 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 sorry, 18, 17. 18068, 18068. Yeah. So 18068. Right, it's 068. Good job. I can tell, yeah, 1.7. Yeah, 1.7. And goes all the way up to. And that band goes to 18.168, pretty narrow band. Yeah. So we're beautiful, 1.8 at the top of the band. All right, 20 meters. We know that's great. Right, yep. 14,000 kilohertz. Yeah, there we go. 14, 1, 1, 2, 5 is a talk. Uh, 14 is where it starts. See what you got all the way okay, down. Okay, 14. Yeah, perfectly for CW, 20 meters. All right. 1.6, and it goes to 14,350. Is that right? Yes, sir. So look at, look at the SWR here. Dropping. Look at that, 1 to 1 almost. I'm going to see if we can get one to one. Not quite. 1.2. 1.2. I mean, you All right, can't. That, that's absolutely that's what you, not, That's what you call this SWR obsession. There's yeah. an article on that. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about SWR and about what it really means and how, and how important it really is, it's called the SWR obsession. And uh, it's in the ARRL, I think it's 1994 issue. You can look it up online and uh, it's a lot of great information. All right, so we've got this Yezu G8000 or 800 DXA and it should be ready to go. 
and we're gonna make some contacts. Absolutely. Oh, stay tuned. Just made a couple contacts, fantastic signal reports. You gotta love it, gotta love the hex beam. It's a lot of fun, it works well. The SWR is right in the range, uh, 1.9 at the bottom or top of the band, and, and good in the middle. You can't beat that. Obey all laws, be safe, always wear your personal protection if you do any of this stuff, and make sure you're in your band. So, that's right, 73. 